You're watching Metalcomania, and I'm back with another video. Well, this time, as you can see the title, I will be ranking Mortifications albums. They have four. They have 14 studio albums. Um, pretty big band. I'm doing this in the middle of the night, so it might be a little more quiet than usual. But yeah, this is the only time I get to actually play quiet. So that's when I do the videos. Is nighttime. Um. So yeah, they have 14 albums. I like, I like eight of their albums like perfectly, from front to back. Um, there's three that I don't really that I think that are good, and then three that I can't stand. Like I mean, like are pretty much bad. Like I mean, I consider them really really bad. Um, so yeah, let's get into the let's get into the really uh, bad ones. Um, 14, the silver cord is severed, really nothing good on here, um, it's very much like they're trying to do groove metal, um, which, as you know, is the downfall of most thrash bands, most, most bands at the time, this was, oh wait, this was released, I think in 2001, so, yeah, shouldn't be the downfall, shouldn't, it should never have been done, um, yeah. Groove metal was passed at this time, and really, Pantera and a few thrash bands here and there were the, like the only ones that actually did it right. There's some other bands that I like, but I haven't really thought, didn't really think about. So, yeah. So, number fourteen, the Silver Chord is severed. I'm not going to talk about these albums too much. The Evil Addiction, Destroying Machine, another one, two thousand nine. Eh. It's not it's not that good in my opinion I'd l rather listen to their earlier stuff or some of their other stuff 12 Rome the Skeletor which is 2015 another one that really I don't ever really listen to because it's just not that good and the lyrics are kind of uh yeah the lyrics are just not good on these albums oh my gosh I read I read through the lyrics on all of them their original lyrics are like really good like, I really don't, per se, usually try to go into uh, Christian bands. That's why they're hated, is because they're a Christian death metal band. Um, but yeah, just, the lyrics are just really, really bad. Oh my god, the lyrics are horrible. Um, their recent albums are kind of along the lines of, I don't like them. Um... 11 brain cleaner which is from 2004 this one was actually pretty damn good i'm actually gonna bring up uh spotify in this one where the hell is spotify right here um on my computer as well why i do this just to brain cleaner boa constrictor is okay um the flu virus that one's a good one uh 12 men Louder than the devil. There's some good ones on here. It's just not as uh, good as the. If you could see, my camera's kind of going nuts because, well, it's kind of late in the night and my lighting's not that good in here. So, I deal with that. Uh, so yeah, not really a whole lot on Brain Cleaner. It's just, it's just decent all the way through, mostly. Just mostly a decent album. Just nothing really stands out. Um, same with uh, number 10, Relentless, that is an 8.7, The per and Brain Cleaner is an 8.6, Relentless is from 2002, uh, 2002, I think a year after, yeah, but this one, this one has some oof behind it, I could tell you that, there's some oof behind uh, Relentless, stuff like Web of Fire, God Shaped Void, there's some really big, uh, um, songs here altar of god is another great song um yeah it's just not as good as their like stuff from the uh 90s like their 90s stuff is absolutely amazing some of their albums in the 90s i really only think they did one album that was like not that good in the 90s or it's quite good which is where i go to the cds Primitive Rhythm Machine. Um, yeah. 
I'm using the computer for lighting, so bear with me on that. It might be quite iffy, but yeah, primitive rhythm machine. Seen it all, the time essence of power, toxic shock, 4031, wrench, confused belief, providence, and killing evil. It just didn't feel as like good as their first four. It kind of has more of a tribal feel to it, like something that like Sepulter or some uh, band like that would be doing. And they do it quite well. It's a quite well put together album. It comes in at 9.9 .9 out of 10. Um, yeah, this album is really good. I advise checking it out. Anything from above, this album and above 9, absolutely fantastic stuff. And I advise you guys to check out. Um, Stanton, my favorite ones on here are uh, Primitive Rhythm Machine title track and Toxic Shock, the two two songs that I really enjoy on this album. And here we go to number eight. Um, Envision of Angeline, I think it's called, um, at number eight. This is the first 10 out of 10 album. It's got that big eight parts, eight part title track coming in at 18, at 18 minutes and 49 seconds. Pretty long, but is amazing to listen to. Um, Northern Star, Peace in the Galaxy, Jehovah Nissi, I think it is. Best song on here, definitely. Buried into Obscurity, Chapel of Hope, Noah is a Knower, another great song on here. And Crusade for the King, just absolutely inspired stuff. You can feel they're quite inspired here to actually create a great album. Unlike their later stuff that feels like just pushed and generic. Um... For some reason, their older stuff just feels way more, like, uh, authentic and great sounding. The guitar tone, uh, guitar tone is actually good. The newer album's guitar tones is absolute dog crap. And I'm going to be honest with that. The, their newer albums have dog crap guitar tones to them. Um, their last two, they're like, awful guitar tones. Awful. Awful guitar tones. Um, number seven. Scrolls in the Megaloth. Um, very controversial to have it down here at number seven, but I just feel like their stuff after it and the one before it is just way better. Um, it's got some good stuff on like Raise of the, Raise the Chalice, Scrolls of the Megaloth title track, just absolute, just death metal grind masterpiece right there. Nocturnal, just this album is a just one of the best death metal albums. Like it's great. It's a great death metal album. But they kind of broke out of that death metal death metal thing after a while and yeah, I just like their other stuff way more than this album. I like this album front to back, but they have a lot better stuff. Number six Hammer of God. Um their last one before they did the Silver Chord album that I absolutely despise. Um, some songs like Metal Crusade, Martyrs, Lock Up the Night, In the Woods, Pearl, ha Hammer of God, Liberal Medi Mediocrity, which is a weird song. Um, still good. Stream Conditions, Ride the Light, and DWAM. That opening song, Metal Crusade, it just has a really like head banging type riff to it that I just love. Um, Martyrs is another great one. Yeah, this album is just fantastic. Um, it's along the lines of what would be on Triumph of Mercy, um, just not as good. Um, Yeah, that's all I gotta say about this album. Um, I'm quite... I've listened to this band a lot, but stumbling on my words here for some reason. Just I'm just out of it lately. Um, and we're going back to Spotify because, well... 
number five is their 2006 album, Erasing the Goblin. Um, I think this one was kind of their outlier for their 2000s album, 2000s albums. There's some great songs in here, like Razorback. Razorback is just absolutely furious from the start. Um, the Dead Shall Be Judged, Save the Blasphemous Tabernacle, Your Time, Forged in Stone, Way True Life, Humanitarians, Short Circuit, and Servants of the Supreme Message. This uh, this album is the best of the two thousands of the two thousands albums that they've done. The best ones after Hammer of God, as it gets a higher score than Hammer, Hammer of God. Um, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. I'm trying to go faster here because uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna get to the top ones. Number four, number four. Really don't have a whole lot to say because just yeah. Mortification self-titled first album from 1991. Um, songs like Brutal ba uh, Brutal Warfare, Bathe in Blood, Satan's Doom, No Return, Break the Curse, New Awakening, The Story of The Story of Beholds, Journey of Imagine. Yeah, just that just that song, Brutal Warfare. Brutal Warfare is it's just an amazing song and Bathe in Blood. Oh my, A Bathe in Blood, absolutely amazing song, it's like an uh, absolutely amazing album, um, it's Grindley's death metal at its finest, um, a lot of people have this album as like the f best album or under, uh, scrolls, but yeah, I have three other ones I consider way better than this album. Um, not by much though, not by much. This out al this album list, list was really damn hard with the first couple of albums. Next one at number three is Post Momentary Affliction um, from the Valley of Shadows, Human Condition, Destarnus Priest, Grand Planetarium. That's probably one of my best favorite songs from this from these guys. Um, this momentary affliction, flight of victory, flight of victory, pulsation, liquid assets, vital fluids, and sea of forgetfulness. I could relate to uh, forgetfulness. A little bit of a joke. Um, probably not funny to you guys, but it is very funny to me. But yeah, it's what scrolls was trying to be, but better. It's what Scrolls was in better. Um, it's almost it's pure death metal. Um, this uh, this album is pure death metal, where Scrolls has a little bit of grind in there, and yeah, it was only their really true death metal album. Number two, Blood World. Uh, a lot of people didn't like this album when it came out. A lot of people still don't like this album. But yeah, what is it? Symbiosis. Fucking awesome song. It's so long, but it has just absolute carrying power and rip to it. I think it's uh, Clan of Delight, Blood, Blood World. Is that? I'm gonna look on Spotify. I'm gonna look on Spotify. Sorry, I'm gonna look on Spotify because I don't know. I'm gonna look on Spotify because I don't. Sorry. Oh, come on. Oh, well, I can't see it. It's not letting me go to there. Oh, well. Blood World, Starlight, Your Life, Monks of the High Lord. Another great song. Um, yeah, this album is just front to back, great death metal, great progressive, or whatever you want to call it. It's kind of out of that genre by now with death metal. Um, they kind of only did death metal for like three albums and just branched out and did something else. 
kind of like extreme metal more likely. And number one, my favorite of their albums is Triumph of Mercy. Um, the album that got me into this band. Um, that's why most people hate on this album. Most people hate, hate this album seeing it's quite bad. And I think the whole thing about it, uh, how inspired this album was, um, At War With War, Triumph of Mercy, Welcome to the Pelodome, From Your Side, Influence, Influence is an amazing song. Every song on here is absolutely fantastic. Um, Rain Dweller, Raw as a Stone with Temple. Raw as a Stoneward Temple is just absolutely awesome with the barking vocals. Like Unified Truth and Visited by an Angel. This album is a masterpiece and probably would fall on some of my one of my favorite albums ever. Um, I really haven't like I'm sorry that I didn't really uh, go into like really good detail here. I was trying to get through because it's a big discography. I have to keep it going. Have to can't dwell on things. I just got to keep going. So yeah, that's what I think of Mortifications discography. The video is probably not that good, but it's the best I could do right now with with it with it being late and me being tired. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. Um, follow my uh, TikTok. Follow my Instagram. Um, I never post on Instagram, but I do post on TikTok quite often often enough but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace